This polar bear at the zoo secretly opens a cola when no one is around. He tilted his head at a 45 degree angle and drank the coke in one go. This big lion feels an itch on his back. He stands up straight away and leans against a tree and rubs his back furiously. The animals here can walk upright. They can also understand human speech. Tourists throw rocks at the gorillas. Kane says to the tourists, you can't treat animals like this. Then he turns to the roaring gorilla and says, you can't be unkind to humans. The polar bear is approaching the water. He aggressively says to the polar bear, your fur must not get wet. How expensive it is. So the polar bear backed up and left the pool. The zoo earns 200 million one a month with such cute animals. But in fact, the animals are all played by real people. King is a trainee at a big law firm. He has been in a firm for a year with an average degree. He nodded and bowed to every leader, but he was still a nobody. Finally, on this day, he got his chance. His boss gave Kane a bankrupt zoo. He asked Kane to revive the zoo within three months. Once Kane completed this task, he was promoted to a higher position. So when Kane drove the luxury car rewarded by his boss, he felt that his life was about to change, because this big zoo is Kane's territory. But the more he walked, the more he felt that something was wrong. Kane saw that all the animals had been taken away by a car. The only thing left in the zoo was a sick polar bear, and for employees. But how could the zoo, which was on the verge of closing down and had no animals, make money? Kane felt that if there were no animals in the zoo, he paid to buy animals to come in and solve the problem. Kane was very confident at this point, but there was a lot of paperwork to go through to buy the animals. After they go through all this, they could get a tiger in as little as three months. But Kane couldn't wait that long now. So he came up with a bad idea. He made animal-shaped suits and had the crew play the animals. Kane found Jack, who made the models for the movie. He asked Jack to make several animal costumes. Staff member Kim played the gorilla, Mike played the polar bear, Linda as the lion, Susan as a sloth. Before the animals' costumes arrived, the staff members practiced hard to imitate the animals' movements. So when the costumes arrived, they all looked like this. They had no choice. They had to use this method to attract the visitors. Kin opened the doors of the zoo, they welcomed the kindergarten tour group and the senior tour group. But the moment before the tourists arrived, Lofts are still playing with their cell phones with sharp claws. The lion was hovering against the tree. Luckily, there weren't many visitors. They got through the first day of business like this, but the revenue was dismal. Susan ended her day of playing the role and cried on the sidelines. It turned out that she had been dumped by her boyfriend, but her boyfriend still owed her 30 million won. Kim wanted to punish her bad boyfriend for Susan, so he puts on a gorilla suit and goes to Susan's boyfriend's convenience store to threaten him. The gorilla broke into the supermarket late at night and took a computer. The next day Susan's boyfriend came to the zoo to look for Susan. He suddenly runs into a sloth, so he goes after the sloth and grabs it. But then the gorilla jumped on him and beat him up. Just as he was beaten into unconsciousness, he also saw a lion coming towards him. He was so scared that he fainted on the spot. But when he woke up, he learned the secret of the zoo. He threatened to expose them right away. In the end, Susan promised to let him off the hook for his previous debts to keep him quiet. But the zoo's dismal business situation had not yet been resolved. Kane thinks the giraffe must be missing. So he went to Jack and urged him to finish making the giraffe costume. But when he arrived, he found out that Jack had taken the money and run away. He only left behind the half-made giraffe. The zoo had no choice, can only use this giraffe costume to make do. But then Mike had a heat stroke. There was no one left to play the polar bear at the zoo, so Kane had to play himself. A tourist threw a bottle of coke at the polar bear. The weather is too hot, polar bear suit is not breathable at all. The polar bear opened the coke and poured it into his mouth and dried up. This scene was photographed by tourists. So the polar bear who can drink coke became popular on the internet. People bought tickets to see it. After that, there were many visitors to the zoo. All the carbonated drinks are lined up, but polar bears love coke. Kane drinks hundreds of bottles of coke a day. His sweat is all cola flavored, but he works hard for the zoo's turnover. It's not just polar bears. Gorilla also started to drink coke. He even did a street dance freestyle. The zoo is a huge hit with visitors. The zoo's turnover reached 100 million one in just one month. The owner congratulated Kane on becoming the company's lawyer. Kane was very happy. He is also very concerned about the future of the zoo he saved.
but the boss told him, the zoo will be demolished and converted into a resort. King tried his best to stop it, but as a small employee, he could not stop this from happening. He returned to the zoo with his head down, but the staff was celebrating with fireworks. They thanked King for bringing the zoo back to life. King looked at the happy people, the bad news was on his lips but he couldn't say anything. But everyone still saw the news of the renovation released by the city hall. The happy atmosphere immediately receded. Kane told everyone there was nothing he could do to stop the company's decision. Kane returned to work as a full-time lawyer. He had a separate office and a wide view of the world. But that didn't really make him happy now. The zoo staff fought against the conversion to a resort. So they opened the zoo for free to attract more visitors. They identified the companies that wanted to convert the zoo and stop the demolition of the zoo on the grounds that they were destroying the environment and treating the animals violently. Anna, the owner of the resort, saw the news and was furious. She ordered Kane's boss's lawyer to settle the matter immediately. And that's when Susan's ex-boyfriend came along and ratted her out. He told his boss that the animals in the zoo were all pretend employees. When the boss heard such a ridiculous thing, he immediately went to the zoo to confirm. Kang also drove his Mercedes to the zoo immediately after hearing the news. The boss heard that the polar bear at the zoo would drink coke and thought it was suspicious. So he didn't listen to Kang's stop and went straight into the polar bear's feeding room. But it was the real polar bear. He clung to the boss's clothes and wouldn't let go. Scared the boss quickly fled. This is when he felt as if the polar bear was real. Because at that moment, he thought he was going to die. But when the boss passed by the giraffe and saw this scene, he realized that the animals were really human impersonators. He immediately returned to the polar bear area. By this time, the real polar bears had run into the display area. The boss confronted the real polar bear with an iron bar. He asked the polar bear to take off his bear coat. But the polar bear pounced on him. The boss realizes something is wrong. He immediately played dead, but the polar bear still didn't leave. At that moment, King puts on a polar bear suit and walks into the display area to lure the polar bear. The boss was successfully rescued, but Kane was jumped by the polar bear. His suit was also torn apart. Kane was pinned down by the polar bear and beaten wildly. It took Kane a lot of effort to escape, but now, the staff's act of pretending to be animals was completely exposed. But Kane saw that everyone had worked so hard for the zoo. He didn't want to give up just like that, so he approached Anna, the owner of the resort. He asked her to turn the zoo into an eco-friendly resort. This will allow the resort and the eco zoo to coexist. It would also be a better selling point. Anna heard the proposal and thought Kane was smart. So she fired Kane's boss lawyer and started working with Kane. Soon after that, an eco-friendly resort with an eco zoo was born. The sick polar bear was returned to its home. Everyone finally succeeded in guarding the animals. The staff donned animal suits. Their whimsical ideas not only came to fruition, but also saved the zoo from bankruptcy. The polar bear who was afraid to go into the water because the coat was expensive. The gorilla who tried to hit back after being thrown a stone. A series of cute animal behavior cannot help but burst out laughing. But after laughing, we also feel the efforts of the staff to protect the zoo. Their love and protection of animals is also touching. You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.